30 games are in the books. Yes, that means there's going to be Hall of Fame, there's going to be All-Star Game, there's going to be Home Run Derby, there's... Crap. Corona ruined it for all of us. All right, welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris. Today we're going to go over a few themes. We're going to talk about the season. We're going to talk about the first 30 games and some highlights. And we're going to talk about the standings and who's in, who's out. First off, if you haven't noticed, this year is a little bit different. It's not like a regular 162-game season where you you know, you know, get the September call-ups. You've got the All-Star game. You've got the Home Run Derby. You've got that Midsummer Classic. It's a little different because we're only playing 60 games. Now, we're about the 30-game mark. Some teams have played 32. Some have played 28. Cardinals haven't played that much. But I just, for all intents and purposes, want to just go over what has happened and what's going on after 30 games. Now, remember what I've talked about. If you're five to seven games out at the 30-game mark, that means the next 30 games, you're going to have to blaze a trail to catch your division winner. But that doesn't mean you're out of it yet. Okay, so first things first, let's go over, and I've talked about this a lot of times, 30 games in, 30 games left. If you're five games out at the 30-game mark, if you go 25 and 5, you got to hope for the team in front of you in the division to go 20 and 10. So I basically looked over each division and did simple math. I'm just doing a general kind of view on this. If there's 30 games left, I took all the divisions, added up all the wins and losses, and determined the average winning percentage in Major League Baseball at 653. So 20 games is like 666. <gasps> Satan. And then 19 games is at 633. So I'm going to get the benefit of the doubt and say every division, if your team goes 1911, what do you have to do to get first place? And again, we're just looking at division. But I mean, when you look at teams like the Angels and Mariners in Texas, you're done. Um, there's just no way. I mean, Philadelphia is four games out. So they got to go at least 23 to 24 wins out of 30. And hopefully the team in front of them, which is Atlanta Braves, has to go 19-11. So hopefully this is making sense to you. When you're that many games out, like San Francisco, they're eight games out. So they've got to hope the Dodgers go, I mean, you're eight games out. So that means you've got to win a lot of games. Uh, if the Dodgers go 19-11, that means you got to go like 27-3. and three. It's not going to happen. So these are the teams I'm going to show you right now. These are the teams that are done. They're not going to win the division. It doesn't mean they're out of the picture. They're just done with the division. Dunzo. However, before we get into uh, what teams are out of it, I just want to talk about a little something. You know, it just seems like a different flavor this year. It's 60 games. Teams are playing different. When you go into playoffs from the start of the playoffs to the World Series, if you win it, you're playing about 20 or 30 games. It's kind of like where we're at right now. 20, 30 games. We're at 30 games. But I'm just trying to illustrate. I. It looks like a little different ball to me. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I've noticed... It looks like playoff ball. Everyone's playing a little bit different, different style of ball. There's definitely different type of hitting. Teams are coming together differently. I really think this last 30 games is going to be a blast, and I really think the playoffs are going to blow your mind. I think going from 10 games, or excuse me, going from 10 teams to 16 teams, dude, how is that not the Wild West? You start with a field of 64, you're down to Sweet 16. So that's what we're looking at. Sweet 16 starting in the playoffs of Major League Baseball. I think it's going to be something else. I think we're going to have a different type of World Series, different type of National League playoffs, American League playoffs. I think it's going to be a lot different and a lot funner for us. These are look, Let's look out who's out. This is division only. These teams are not going to win their division and get into playoffs through their division. They're going to have to depend on the wild card. Red Sox, Tigers, Royals, Rangers, Mariners, and Angels. You're donezo. And then moving on over to the National League. Click, click, point. National League, we've got... Pirates, Rockies, Giants, and Diamondbacks, you're done. You're not going to win the division. You have to hope for one thing and one thing only, wild card. So let's go down memory lane in the first 30 games. Remember Luis Robert? Look at that. Falls down, hits it out of the stadium, summer camp. There was uh, you know, a little, little sliver of things to come with him. He could be rookie of the year. And then don't run on Chico. Let Chico hit. S summer camp throughout Chris Taylor. And then the beginning of the season really didn't, the first week or two, I was like feeling it, but Aaron Judge with his home run consecutive streak, that really got me into it. I was like, this is going to be a bitching season. So that was a lot of fun uh, watching Aaron. And then for historic uh, players, the veterans, uh, Albert Pujols, Fat Albert, hit 658. He's two away from Willie Mays. As of this posting today, uh, August 25th, he's at 659. So he's still one away from Tyne Willie. Um, yeah, I mean, come on, shoe in Hall of Famer, obviously. 
Okay, then, remember uh, Charlie Blackmon in the Colorado Rockies? He was hitting 500 at one point. I think he's just hitting about 406, 403 now as of today. But is someone going to hit 400? We're still only halfway through the season. And then remember the Cubs triple play, the one Chris Bryant, you know, pulled off. Uh, the umpire totally missed was right in front of him. So that was another thing that happened in the first 30 games. It was really odd. I mean, instant replay, you can't have instant replay on trapped plays in the infield, but you can in the outfield. So something Major League Baseball needs to look at and fix. Then uh, Cole Calhoun inside the park home run. Also Christian Yelich hit a uh, inside the park home run. Who can who could forget about Ramon in Oakland starting a fight with uh, with Houston Astros, and he went after the the batting coach for Houston. And the good thing about it is Houston's coach was suspended, and he should have been because who are you as a coach to get on the field and start a fight with a player? So that was one brawl with Houston. There's other brawls that happened too. Check it out. Everyone's just kind of dancing, throwing everyone around. No punches thrown. Everything was fine. Just some feelings hurt. And then who could forget about the Chicago White Sox four home runs in a row. Just clobbering. Just clobbering. Taking it to St. Louis. And then the big controversy. Fernando Tatis, the unwritten rule grand slam in the very next batter's Manny Machado, and they throw against him. Well, that started the Texas jinx because the very next day, well, Myers hits a grand slam. The day after that, walk-off grand slam by... Manny, and then game four, it's like Eric Hosmer crushes one out. Padres just totally took it to him. And then the big highlight of the first 30 games is Joe Kelly throwing at the Houston Astros because Major League Baseball did not punish any of the players. Major League Baseball basically left it up to the players to police each other. So this is one of the highlights of this year. Joe Kelly is just, uh, he became super popular, a hero to a lot of fans and players because a lot of players are pretty pissed off that, Houston players didn't get punished, but there it is. The first 30 games. Sorry if I missed other highlights, but there you go. So I'd like to go over his divisions. Let's take a look at the American League East. Tampa Bay, New York, and Toronto, and the Orioles. Those four teams are still into the battle for the division. Red Stocks, you're done. There's no way you're coming back nine and a half games and winning this division in the next 30 games. Sorry, it's not happening, Red Sox fans. And actually, I'm kind of surprised and kind of bummed for Red Sox fans. I thought they are going to be a lot better, a lot more competitive. Don't know what happened. Please comment, Red Sox fans. Let us know what really happened over there because I thought you guys had a good team. Look at the American League Central. Twins, Cleveland, Chicago. Uh, you're in it. Out of it, Detroit and Kansas City, you're done. You're donezo. You're not going to win the division. It's not going to happen no matter what you do or what you dream. It's not going to happen. But we haven't talked wild card yet, but they're out of it for the division. American League West, Oakland's got the division. Houston is battling for division. Teams are out of it for the American League West. Rangers, Mariners, and Angels, you're 8, 9, and 11 games out. You're donezo. There's no way you're going to win this division. All you can hope for is to stay competitive for the wild card, which we'll go over in a second. Okay, let's run over to the National League standings. Um, teams that are done. The National League East. The whole division's wide open. I mean, Philadelphia's in last place, and they're four games out. So Braves, Marlins, Mets, Nationals. Who knows who's going to win this division? I mean, four games out for the Phillies, that's not bad at all. Because, again, if the Braves go 19-11, remember we are talking earlier about the, the standard for the last 30 games. So if they play at a 6, you know, 33 clip, they're going 19-11. Um to make up those games isn't that hard i mean philadelphia can go you know 24 and 6 and be right there so a couple head-to-head meetings so who knows uh central cubs cardinals milwaukee and cincinnati obviously pittsburgh's done and again pittsburgh fans what happened i told you guys had you picked to be competitive this year i just they're a better team than that uh please comment pittsburgh fans let us know what ha- what the hell happened over there in pittsburgh I was really bummed. I was really pulling for Pittsburgh this year. But Chicago, St. Louis, looking good. Brewers and Reds kind of out on the outskirts. Uh, Brewers are five and a half out. Reds are six and a half. Uh, you know, I, I think you're really pushing it. But we're not talking about wild card. We're just talking about division. And then in the West, Dodgers are running with it. Padres are running with it. And then teams are out of it. Rockies, Giants, and Dimebacks. You're donezo. You're not going to win the division. But, again, we haven't talked about the wild card. That's a whole different story. All right, now we're looking at the American League wildcard pitcher. And when you look at it, a lot different than when you look at the divisions. Um, Angels, you're you're done. Red Sox, you're done. Mariners, Kansas City, and Rangers, you're on the bubble. I mean, 30 games, you're going to try to catch Tampa or Cleveland or, or Chicago or Houston. I don't think that's going to happen. So 
Honestly, Texas Royals, Mariners, Red Sox, and Angels, uh, I'm calling it. You're donezo. You're not going to make the playoffs unless Detroit and Rangers go on a pretty good winning streak in head-to-head matches against their division. I really don't see it happening, but I could be wrong. I mean, Texas can totally turn it around. Um, yeah, I just don't see it happening. And then the surprise team, the Baltimore Orioles, two and a half games out. You're right there. You're 500. You just got to, you just got to play 500 ball from here on out, and you're in the playoffs. Baltimore, the Cinderella team, freaking love it. Um, Toronto's two games out. Houston's one game, one game out. So. The wild card pitcher looks really interesting with 30 games to go. I mean, when you look at it, but I mean, Angels, Red Sox, you're donezo. Mariners, Kansas City, you're definitely on the bubble. Uh, Rangers, Tigers, you're going to have to put something together, man. You're going to have to go like 25 and 5 or 23 and 7 just to be, you know, competitive. So time to play ball, time to light up the boards now. Okay, now we're going to move over to the National League wild card. So when you look at these teams, you're like, man, they had no chance in the division, but they have a chance here. The freaking Pirates are six games out. They're seven and seventeen. Uh, I know I said they're done, but they're actually in it. And then you look at everyone else. The Reds are three and a half out. Philadelphia, Washington, Diamondbacks, Brewers, Mets, Giants, Giants, playoffs, playoffs. I'm shaking my head because I don't understand what's going on. Uh, Rockies, Marlins, Cardinals, Padres. So the National League wild card picture is wide open. It's still, it's going to be phenomenal. I mean, really shocked that that many teams are in it. So that's the wild card picture. There, you know, if you're a Red fan, I mean, honestly, Red, you got to make it. There's no reason you shouldn't make it with that pitching staff. Philadelphia, if they start getting hot, they could be a tough team. But you know, these are teams that are just kind of on the bubble. Um, Pirate fans, I'm sorry, you guys are done unless you go on just a, a major historic run. Um, I mean, if the top team goes 19-11, well, six games out. I mean, if you go 23-7, and seven, you're right there. But you're going to have to play some great ball. Um, Diamondbacks have been playing really good. Brewers, Mets, all right there. Giants, I I apologize to Giant fans. I thought you guys were done though, man. You guys are two games out. So the wild card in National League is really, really shaping up. So thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Please subscribe. Please help us out. Uh, please click on the links. Follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter. Uh, we want to give a shout out to our followers on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, YouTube, especially Instagram. Instagram's our main format that we use, and we really appreciate everyone following us. Thank you very much. Have a great day.